Yo, what's going on guys? It's Mr. back with another video. Today we'll be doing something that I've never really done on my channel before. My hair is weird. Which is, I'll be going over what I learned in terms of competitive Fortnite in the Kami Cup. Through analyzing my own gameplay and reflecting on what I did wrong and what I could have done better. I feel like this is going to help myself and, you know, potentially you guys. To become better players yourselves as well. Guys, I'm, I'm just trying to experiment with my content because Fortnite has been kind of dry lately. It's been kind of boring, but nonetheless, let's get straight into it. Oh, and just a disclaimer. I'm only doing this kind of analysis video because uh, because my NVIDIA Shadowplay, which is my recording software for clips and all that, it wasn't working. So I was like, why throw away this content, this tournament, not make a video about it? So then in the middle of my third game, something just pops in my head. I was like, yo, turn on replay mode and we can make an analysis video. So yeah, that's what I did. So uh, I only have the replay files from game four on to 10. This is a duo tournament, by the way. And yeah, in game four, I died of spawn, so nothing really to see there. Games one to three, we got a couple kills, but still that, not that good of games. So yeah, from game five onwards, we're going to be doing an analysis. So yeah, let's actually get straight into this. So guys, this is one of the early games from the tournament. Me and my teammate encounter a fight. Teammate goes up. Okay, first of all, first I should have probably just stayed next to him instead of stay instead of stay back here trying to look for a beam. First mistake taking this fight out of the way. Second of all, there's a guy here. But I don't see him though. This is just awareness. I wasn't very aware in this fight, I don't think. So he, he was able to get the first shot, the second shot. I managed to get two shots off for 76. And I was actually aiming at him, as you can see there. If I got the third shot off, I could have probably killed him, but still, that was a huge mistake, not being aware in field build fights, happens to everyone, but it is what it is. So now we're in the same game, but my teammate is dead, and it's an end game, as you can see, fifth zone is actually all the way, it's kind of max distance, 13 people left up here, there's a guy here, back behind here, and a guy down here, so I also decided to rotate, initially I was looking for a beam, I managed to get a few shots off. As you can see, I just wasn't aware. I didn't know the guy was behind me, right here. As a result, he could shoot me. He didn't hit any shots though. I tried to spray him back. There was a fight. Managed to him for 26. Tried to get ahead. Wasting max, kind of. And I get one pumps because I didn't build to the side there. Yep, so that's just another case of not really being aware and not building to side and that resulted in me getting one pumped. So there goes that game. So guys, this is the next game. Me and my teammate happened to, to get into the fight. This guy for 100. I tried to jump in. That in itself would be a, a little bit small brain. Because this other guy could have an angle on me and could headshot me here before like 150, but he didn't. It, it could have been a potential danger though. Just keep that in mind. We do manage to get the kill though. Yep, so. That was another instance of not being aware of my surroundings. I know you guys are probably screaming at me. I'm not very aware of my surroundings. I'm, I don't know. Maybe it's because my potato earphones, but I probably shouldn't blame this. I should blame myself for this. You just have to keep a sharp eye out. Even though that guy came out of nowhere, it was it was a danger. He hit me for 108, so yeah. That was just bad for my end. My teammate gets the kill. Hop two minis. I tell him, oh my god, there's another guy here. Proceeds to bomb big pot. This guy tries to make this wall of ours. So then I actually go out to the side. 168, massive hit marker. That was actually a good thing for me. Working with what you have is really useful. Like just there. That was a prime example. Managed to get that kill. My teammate gets sniped in this fight to start off. He just got the bush for around 100. Crack him. That wasn't the smartest play. Just, just opening up like that. Let's edit. Yeah, this wasn't really the smartest play because he had a really good angle to just headshot me right there. Even if not too many people would do that when they're quite literally one shot. Some people do and you just have to be careful. Even if it doesn't happen, 
you still have to be aware when you're vulnerable to a big big pump shot like I was. I was a bit brainless. Still managed to pick up the kill though. From here on out, it's just poggers. Yep, 121, dead, pump up. Get out of here. So this is an end game of the same game. Uh yeah, Bamber Stacker. Fifth zone is about to pull in, as you can see on the bottom right. 29 people. Yeah, bit of a stacker, huh? Seconds there. Misses every shot. That's a mistake in itself. For 21. Yep, lack of awareness yet again. Guys, in these tournaments, <laughs> they are really stacked. You have to be aware of your surroundings. In my case, I should have probably built it right here so that he couldn't get a free angle on me without spraying the other guy. It's a bit of a no-brainer, but hey, it's, it's, it still applies. You have to be aware of your surroundings at all times. And don't television too much on just getting a kill. So guys, this is the next game, and yeah, this one's kind of a short one, but still. I actually managed to get a pretty good job. Better than this guy, but you won't believe what happens. Yeah, like, wh why? Well, wh why did I just do that? Why? Either way, managed to grab an AK. Uh, yeah. I had a shape fired. That was really dumb of me. <laughs> First of all, I probably should have ADS'd. Second of all, I should have wasted time by just walking around here. Should have just went straight to the AK and tried to beam him as soon as possible. And uh, yeah, I mean, I hit, I hit one shot and the rest is free. So guys, here's the next game. Once again, my teammate manages to die. Either way, this is an end game of the next game, so let's see. Yeah, 21 people, about to be 6 zone. Max distance, by the way, I think, for me. Trying to make it to zone. I didn't have a launch pad. Snatch one out of the air. I didn't go for the finish, though. Snapped another guy. I was just trying to get tags, to be honest. Just kind of caught up in the moment. Probably shouldn't have sniped, because I, I could have got beam pretty easily. I don't know what I was doing here. I was just about to get into zone. I go above this guy. Oh. I popped the med kit. Uh, lack of coordination. <laughs> I thought zone was going to the left, but it's, it was going like. It was going straight, so that. Like, yeah, I, I don't know why I went for that. That was just dumb. Yeah, I probably should have pushed that. I didn't know that it was a duo. I thought it was just a solo. I didn't see the guy coming from the right. Once again, lack of awareness. But nonetheless, if you're solo in endgame, don't try pushing a duo, let, let alone a trio. When well, one of them is 100 HP, or, or 200 actually. Yeah, it's just not worth you just gonna get, get yourself killed most of the time. So guys, this is the next game of the tournament. Me and my teammate are just chilling in, in a 2 by one In edge zone, of course, it's about to be half and half, fifth zone. It's the fourth zone right now. Uh, yeah, 38 people. It's quite stacked. Almost scrim level, actually. Yeah, we're just chilling cones. I don't know why. I swear this wasn't open, by the way. It's a good. My cone was closed. I was just looking up. Uh, yeah, so that happened. <laughs> These weirdos, yeah. They sprayed and then sniped. So, I could have prevented that by actually looking like their way immediately. Uh, yeah, lack of awareness yet again. I know I'm not the most aware person in the world, but guys, you, you, you gotta look out, bro. Like, 30 people, 4 zone, it can happen to anyone. So, guys, this is the next and last game of our tournament, actually. Uh, yeah, off spawn, bit of a sticky situation. There's two people looking at me, so yeah, I can't really like, go out and follow my teammate, really, because I'll just get beamed. This guy's looking at me. Yeah, so these two guys are looking at me. What do I do next? Let's see. I actually don't remember this. Yeah, I wasn't aware. Let's see that again. Of course, I get beaten by these two people. Yeah, there's, there's, there's someone here. Like, Why am I so unaware of my surroundings?
Yeah, pretty much just get triple spread. My teammate does pretty much get get killed. Uh, pretty soon. So I knew this is so somewhere because uh, because my teammate killed one person here. So that yeah, that was most likely the solo. Pretty sure it was. I probably should have looked out for under here. That's where a lot of solos hide and bony barbs. It's it's a ritual really. Like I don't know these rats, man. He does get killed though. So. Yep, big mistake, uh, <laughs> big mistake coming out of my box here. So guys, that's actually pretty much it for the video. Uh, kind of a short one. Maybe it's long, I don't know. I'll have to edit it after this. Uh, yeah. Pretty much. Be aware of surroundings and don't let your guard down. When you think you're safe, you might not be safe. Especially in stacked tournaments like these. Like the Kami Cup. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, that's pretty much it. Follow my Instagram, link in the description below. Posting cool stuff in there soon. Yeah, that's pretty much it. See you guys in the next video. Peace.